Eight women you had no idea saved your ass. Number one, Anna Connolly. Fire escapes are usually shown in pop culture as an easy spot for a smoke break, but fire escapes are actually lifesavers. Before Connolly submitted her patent for one in 1887, that's the first registered patent for a fire escape, a building fire was a one-way trip to death town. And as U.S. cities filled up with crowded tenements, this was a big problem. Connolly's idea was to build metal bridges between buildings so that residents could easily escape to a safe spot without risking their lives by potentially walking down into flames. The ones we know today look a little different, but without Connolly's patent, fire safety might have taken a lot longer to catch on. Number two, Maria Beasley. Don't tell Jack and Rose, but Beasley filed a patent in 1882 for the first modern life raft, a foldable, fireproof floating device with protective guardrails. The exact kind that was used to shuttle most women and children to safety during the sinking of the Titanic 30 years later. Before then, life rafts looked a lot more like the door that Rose didn't let Jack on, and you know the rest. Number three, Letitia Gear. A syringe, which delivers life-saving vaccines and fluids, is a relatively simple tool that took a surprisingly long time to perfect. For centuries, a doctor or nurse, or whoever wanted to stab people with needles, had to use both hands to operate a syringe, which wasn't terribly convenient. Gear patented a nifty model in 1889 that only required the use of one hand, just like the ones we use today. And for people who regularly have to inject themselves with syringes, like people with diabetes, this is a necessary feature. Number four, Mary Anderson. You know how annoying, not to mention terrifying, it gets when windshield wipers get all squeaky and stop doing their job during a bad rainstorm? Before Anderson, people didn't even have a way to save their asses when the clouds opened up. They just couldn't see. Anderson came up with an idea for a window cleaning device in 1902 after an alarming trolley ride in New York City sleet. She patented her idea, the first effective way to keep windshields clean for safe driving, but she was ahead of her time. Windshields were optional in those days, and her idea was rejected by manufacturers. Several men later rode on her coattails by creating similar, more successful wipers, and early advertisements declared them to be the safety measure she knew they could be. A clear sight ahead prevents accidents. An undimmed vision makes it easier to drive. Thanks for trying to save our asses, Mary. Number five, Catherine Burr Blodgett. Speaking of windshields, Blodgett's invention of glass in 1940 paved the way for the crystal clear ones all cars have today. Blodgett was an engineer and scientist at GE, and the first woman to have a PhD in physics from Cambridge, no big deal, when she discovered how to make low reflectance glass. Not only was it the perfect thing to use in windshields, it also became the go-to material for eyeglasses. So the next time you put on your glasses, you can thank Kathy B for helping you avoid possible injury and, I don't know, death? Number six, Stephanie Qualick. Kevlar, the super strong and stiff fiber that Qualick invented while working at DuPont in 1965, kind of sounds like the name of a superhero, and that's because it basically is one. The synthetic fiber is so resilient that it can literally stop a steel bullet, and it's now used in bulletproof vests, helmets, and protective gloves. Come to think of it, Qualic is the real superhero here. Sorry, Kevlar. You're gonna be fine, baby doll. How was that? Number seven, Marie Van Britten Brown. Think of Brown as your guardian angel if you have a home security system. Sorry, ADT. She, along with her husband, invented a camera-based security system in 1966 that allowed them to see who was at their front door and set off an alarm and could even notify a security company if the visitor looked dangerous. They got a patent for their life-saving device in the 1960s, and it became the forerunner of CCTV and contemporary high-tech home security systems. Number 8. Flossie Wong Stahl the vital HIV tests we take today are the result of Wong Stahl's tireless research into HIV and AIDS. In 1983, Wong Stahl, along with her team, was the first person to identify HIV as the cause of AIDS, a crucial step in understanding the then mysterious disease. 
From there, she cloned and genetically mapped the virus, which allowed for research and, later, the development of a molecular knife that repressed HIV in stem cells. Thanks, ladies. 